Hi guys, welcome to the new Regal Gentleman Studio. Um, we've just moved in and this is our first ever client. Hi Alexander, how are you? I'm, I'm you good? Well, how are you? I'm very well, mate. thank you, yeah, I'm very well. Um, what are we doing today? What's the plan? Um, well, it's kind of just, it's, it's very long. Okay. Uh, and um, I, 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 it kind of uh, falls very flat, so I ideally want to keep it, get a bit of length off, uh, have a bit of volume and height at the front. Volume and height. Okay, okay. Have you got any particular sort of look you're trying to achieve? Have you got any images? Uh, I've, got, or I've got a picture. Do you want, yeah, I'm, could not, you? I'm open to suggestions. Okay, yeah, if you want, do you want, could you show me the picture? Yeah. Is that all right? A bit like that. Oh, okay. Um, there's not much height in that, though. Yeah, it just looks like, uh, I think the shape of it just looks so flat. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, um, so you're going for that kind of centre part, is that what you're aiming for? Yeah, yeah. all and, right. And particularly when I put it behind my ear, it just looks really kind of. Okay. Are you, are you still looking to put it behind your ear? Uh, no, not really. Not really. I, I don't want it in my face very much anyway. It's getting in. Okay. Can you get that photo up again for me? Yeah. That one image is taken in a split second. Mm. Okay. You don't want it in your face. But as you can see, it's either side of his eyes on that one image. Mm. So I, I'm pretty 100% certain that when he turns his head and moves around, his fringe falls in his face. If you don't want any hair on your, coming into your eyes or on your face, it's not the best look to go for because there's no way of keeping it out of your face. Okay. That's the only downside. That's, the, that's the, the downside of the haircut based on what you've just said about not going in your face. But we, we need to address that first because that's the, the whole purpose of this haircut mm. is it sits around and, and almost frames the face. That's what it does. If you're open to that, because as you can see, it wouldn't tuck behind his ears neither. As you can see from the, where the fringe length is, it's almost like eye level. So that wouldn't tuck behind the ears. That would just stay in that shape. Would it be more manageable to hold it in that position? Because I feel like it's just kind of wants to flop all the time. It probably wouldn't stay like that. If I'm honest, um, unless you like maybe hairsprayed it and really blow dried it in, it'd be quite a high maintenance finish to go for okay. to keep it set in one place. That's that 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 is the only sort of negative thing about about an image, especially a, such a uh, such a sort of looks a very editorial image or a, a, a kind of headshot of somebody, is that it looks great on the one image, but we don't know what it looks like day to day. Oh, okay. And if if you see that now and you think that's what's going to be like all the time. I'm pretty sure if you even a message to whoever that guy is, he'd probably say, no, it does go in my eyes. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's obviously, it's hard when you see one image. So we just need to make sure we kind of get a clearer picture of the things that would probably annoy you with the hairstyle. You know what I mean? Like going in your face, for example. So, but is that the sort of overall length that you like the look of? Yeah, it looks much neater. And I think it's just a suit as opposed to a suit of armor. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I've evil. never heard that, that term before. That's an interesting one. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Now let's talk about volume. So. When you say about your hairline flat, you, the, one of the main reasons your hairline is flat is because it's so thick and straight. Mm. That's one of the main reasons. To get volume in that kind of length will require a hairdryer to get the volume. Because okay. there's no way we could really put volume in by keeping the length as it is because it needs to lie flat. A longer haircut, especially a center part, of, of manicured so well like that one, you can't really add height in with texturizing. Because essentially when you, when you add height in with texture, you take layers shorter. But the problem is that needs to be almost like one length to, to frame it, if you know what I mean, to make it look neat. Because if we add texture, it will go messy. But we need it to be more blunt to sit in that sort of shape, as, as you can see there. I know I'm, I'm like the bearer of bad news here because I'm, I'm being quite realistic, but I have to be realistic That's with you because it's, if I give you the hairstyle and, it, and then the next day or the day after you wash it and you cannot manage it, it's not going to be a good haircut from me to you. Even though it's probably exactly what you wanted, the reality is it might not have worked for you. So we need to just get, we need to get a hairstyle that's going to work for you as based on that hairstyle as best as possible, really, if that makes any sense. So, okay, so we've got that image, we've got the length. Would you sacrifice the volume to get that same shape? Um, I, I, I'd like to keep the volume, to be honest. Okay, um, I think the sense part has to come out, has to not be used then. I think it might have to be more parted to one side, if anything. Because if I just get a comb, because if we were to cut your hair to that exact same length, let's just say, for example, that was exactly the same length. So if we lift your hair back, you'll have one which, whichever way your hair falls more natural, right? So I think it almost falls more natural that side, and that's why it's sitting very flat. But if we take it maybe just off centre, over to the other side, can you see the volume sits a bit higher already, straight away? It's not that high because it's obviously so long and thick, but that's the problem with your hair texture, that if you want, if you want to still keep length in it and you still want volume, you're going to have to use some heat. So are you willing to use a hairdryer to get the look every single time you style your hair? Uh, I guess so, yeah, I'll have to. You will have to, yeah, you probably, yeah, you have to, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have, you got, have you ever used a brush before, like a round brush to get the height in there? Uh, you ever used that before? No, I haven't. Okay, so that's gonna be a bit, of, a bit of practice, okay? I can show you, but you'll have to practice yourself, okay. all right? 
So if you're up for that, yeah. then we can get more volume in. But if you want a more natural volume without with more with more like say with minimal effort, you're best wearing it off to one side, essentially from right to left, because that's where you get the height. And then obviously we could texturize it to get that a bit more height in there. But the reality is it's gonna involve heat. Just have to get up earlier in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's nice to say that now, but not at the time. I was going to say, yeah, uh, <laughs> it sounds good now, but when it's, say, six o'clock in the morning, you've got a hairdryer on every day, it might not be, it might not be perfect. If you're willing to do it, I mean, I, I can't guarantee how much volume you'll get in there. That's the problem because of the hairstyle, but you'd get a lot more volume than you've got now. But I don't think you'd have it, like, high like this, you know, you'd probably have it just a little bit more raised off the, off the, the, the head more than anything else. Is that, is that the type of volume you're thinking? Um, or do you want it to be quite big? I, I don't want like poof, but I, I just see that and I kind of like the look of it. So I'm kind of just aiming for that really. Aiming for something like that. Okay, cool. All right. Well, if you're going to do that, you're going to hair dry it and you're going to style it and you're going to practice with the brush, then we can do that. The last thing we need to work out is, are you going to be happy with the fringe cut to that length? Keep being asked, like, how much do you want to take it off? And I always think I'm very conservative to say, no, I don't really want to take it off because it spent, took so long to grow it. But mm -hmm. um, I think that's kind of keeping you stuck in this kind of getting it almost needing a haircut every month because it just you know, it's quite long yeah yeah so i think i just want to go for it okay but you're going to be happy with it falling in your eyes because i know that's one of the things you said you didn't want to happen but would you be happy doing that yeah it's better than falling in my teeth when i'm eating okay yeah. <laughs> all right fair enough cool all right then well you're a little bit younger than him by the looks of it so i think your hairline is going to be slightly lower at the corners okay. so with the fringe we might have to leave a bit a little bit longer than that one on that picture there only because I don't, I don't know, who is that by the way? Uh, it's an opera singer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't listen to opera, but I do like it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue that is. Uh, he's um, a, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. But oh, isn't he? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, but he was quite big in his day. Well, in his day, okay, cool. All right. Be roughly about that much. So, about that it'll be. Come off the front. About that. Maybe even a bit more. Yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we kind of have to if we're going to get that look, unfortunately. So you're going to have to, because the thing is with this haircut is that the fringe is shorter, then the sides are a bit longer, then the back's longer. That's what the hairstyle is. So as you can see, the back's longer, the sides are shorter, and then the fringe is there. So we have to kind of cut it quite, probably quite a bit off to get that look. Is that quite a long time of growing, that length? In terms of how long it would take to grow back? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Depends on how quickly your hair grows, I'd say. Okay. But like how long is a piece of string really, it just depends. Okay. It just depends. So, but I mean, I, I, it's hard to, if you're making a decision based on how long it will take you to grow back, it's probably not a good start to get a new hairstyle. No, I, I like to go for it anyway. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. All right then, cool. I just want to always make sure, because I know how hard it is to grow your hair. I understand that I, I've, been, I've never got your length because I could never give, I could, I give up so quickly. So I understand what it's like. A lot of clients have grown their hair out. So I understand that it's quite, a big, big <laughs> challenge. Yeah, of course I, I, it is. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's a big challenge. And like you said, you know, if, you, if you've not necessarily watched a lot of our videos, you probably don't know, like, you're probably still nervous to get a haircut by me because it, I'm someone new to you. So it's, you know, you, there is always the nerves, which I understand. I totally get it because I've been that same way with the barber as well. So, um, but essentially, if you want me to copy that picture, I will do my best to copy that picture to the length and to everything, as long as you put the work in outside of here. Yeah. All right then. Cool. Right. All right. Well, let's get let's get cracking. Let's get around you, uh, going you up, and uh, we'll get going. All right. All right, guys. So I've just um, shampooed uh, Alexander's hair, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my first section. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this with a horseshoe section. Now, again, we want to focus on getting that perimeter length perfect, which is the perimeter is the edges down here, so from the ears and the neck. So again, with that haircut, it's a very precise haircut. I still want to add a little bit of movement in there just based on your hair being like you know, again like we did we did touch on on the, the the gentleman in the picture is a bit older so his hair texture will be very different so we still maybe need to thin your hair out but in a way that isn't going to make it really really messy in a sense so maybe just like point cutting them not in big chunks but very very fine um slices through it or maybe even just with a razor as well just to, to create the texture if you want it and um, it's always nice to go out with a bit of texture all right so as, as much as this will be like a nice sort of like um, masculine finish we still want to have that texture that gives it something to grow out nicely as well so even when your hair gets longer it still stays looking good and that's that's the that's a key thing for me personally okay. i wanted to last you the crown doesn't play too much of a big part in this haircut really apart from the the center part but alexander's hair i know you probably can't you i mean i'm sure you can see it's thick my goodness me it's very thick so i can't see this 
the, the crown being too much of a major issue, it is kind of just off center anyway, so it's not too bad. And again, center parts will fall that will fall kind of how you kind of they've got a bit of man of their own sometimes, you know. But obviously we're gonna be going to put on heat on this as well. So we're gonna manipulate the, the finished look. So I don't think it really matters too much personally. So I'm just dropping it down from the crown anyway. It's always good for the uh, the shape of the head at the back. Make it up and just twist it around. We just need to keep this up and out the way. So one clip at the back and bring this over and one clip at the front like so. Now, lengthwise on this, it's gonna sit just over the ears, okay? Based on the image. So the sides are a bit shorter, the back's got a lot more length in it and the fringe is probably the same length as the size, maybe a tiny bit shorter. But these are things that we, we sort of work on at the end, the perimeter really. We'll work, we'll, we'll kind of fine tune that at the end. Probably roughly about that much is gonna come off the sides and then through the back it'll be a little bit, a little bit longer as well through the back because that's the, essentially the shape of the, uh, the haircut in, in question. So we need the sides to be a bit shorter, the back to be a bit longer where it flicks out and then we've got that top sitting perfectly into the sides. So because we're taking a fair amount of length off through the sides, I'm gonna use two fingers as a width of my section, right? If I was doing three fingers, that would be leaving a lot more length in, but because we are taking a, a, not a, not a lot off, but we're taking a fair amount off to get the shape in, we're gonna use a two finger width section, all right? If we were going really short, we'd use one finger. But don't forget the two finger section starts from the side bend, not from the temple, okay? Because that temple needs to be brought back in because that's where it can cage around the front. So that's why we always start from the side bend and we bring that section in because that curves around. As you can see, if you press that on there, you see the angle it goes into as well. So yeah, how long have you been growing your hair for, Alexander? Oh, I think maybe yeah, over two years. Over I mean, two years, wow. Yeah, I mean it's they've been roughly at the same length for a, a while. It kind of just fluctuates up oh, okay. to about here. Um, yeah, yeah. It took probably about a year, a year and a half to get it. Did it? Yeah, wow. How did you um? How did you sort of? Uh, my, my time, like a, it's one of those obvious questions. How did you grow it? But how did you actually stick to growing your hair? Did you just leave it? Did you wear a lot of hats? Did you, you know, what were you, what were you, what were you doing? Well, um, well uh, there was the COVID lockdown, which meant I didn't really have to integrate. <laughs> nice, yes. Society, so I just, <laughs> um, keep it, you know. It's a great excuse, wasn't it, to grow your hair? It really was. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was quite irritating at times, particularly at the beginning, because it was just like, my, I had a sort of a, not short haircut, but kind of a, like, I'd say mid length. Yeah. And uh, it just got really out of shape. It looked like a, a blob and it got really kind of thick. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but then once it got to the length that I could at least sort of put it behind the, behind the ears or tie it, it was less irritating. Okay, that's good. That's good. How many um, sort of phases did you go through of like disliking your hair, would you say? If you can think back. Because obviously you, have, you go through a phase where it looks okay and then you go through a phase where, where you can't stand it. How many would you say that was? Uh, um, I, I don't know, I really looked at it that way. I just, um, I, I, I kind of like my, my old haircut, but um, my grandfather always said that I've got a good head of hair. I mm -hmm. should make the most of it. Definitely. And then just grow it long. Uh, so opted for that and then, yeah, like I said, it just, it, when it fluctuates and, I feel like the fat hair thing when it's long can be really chronically bad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's what I hear a lot of. Like, like I said to you though, I haven't, I've never grown my hair as long as yours before. I think the longest I've probably grown it is like just to the bottom of my ear. But I've got really tiny ears anyway, so <laughs> that doesn't really mean it's that long to be honest. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've never done it. But obviously speaking to clients, it's always a question that comes up. You know, it's, the question is how, how long does it take to grow? Which is obviously an answer I, I, I don't have, um, but also how, 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 how bad does it look is the kind of common sort of um, kind of, I don't know, part, like, part of the conversation really, like does it, does it look bad all the time? Do you have many bad hair days? Do you have that kind of thing? And to be honest, I think like you said though, is it's, some people say about six, that, that, is, that is what some, like the average sort of numbers or clients say if they can think back, it's about six throughout maybe the course of maybe a couple of years growing. Uh, about six sort of uh, six bad hair sort of weeks or or days or whatever it could probably weeks more than anything else it could be even a month you never know but um but I think it does take a lot of patience to grow out your hair I think it's a good sign of character of a person to know when they can grow their hair long because I'm a I'm not a very patient person and uh and that's probably one of the reasons why I can't grow my hair out I think but uh, you do seem quite a, quite a chill person so I guess growing your hair out was probably a good 
a good thing for you to try out. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Definitely. I'm sure people will be watching this will think that as well. Seem really chilled, so it's nice. It's 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 it's, it's always um it's always a fun thing to do when you've got somebody who's got kind of grown their hair for a couple of years, picking a style that they want, and then you kind of cut it into it. It's always it's always really cool. So what we're doing here, we're taking these sections to the length that we want to cut it to at the back. Okay, so you just pull it out. As you can see, it we tend to leave a lot of length at the bottom if if most of it, if if I'm honest. Um, it looks like have you had a haircut, Alexander, in the in the space of these of these two years? Oh yes, yeah, 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 you've had haircuts, yeah, okay. Because it looks to me as though if you'll see on the last section here, like the bottom's a lot shorter than the top, so it looks as though maybe it's been taken down, down the centre, section either side, and then cut and layered longer on top, which would make sense to the look that you're going for, you were going for. Um, but this look what we're creating now, I'm doing it slightly differently. I'm doing it the way we, the way I normally do it, was palm to palm. Um, so essentially, what we've done is the bottom is already kind of the length, not not already going to cut it too, but obviously we'll take a bit up, but it's a lot shorter at the bottom. But because the way the head dips in into the nape, as you're pulling everything out straight, you tend to leave a lot more length down the bottom anyway, is because the haircut from previous, where it's a bit shorter at the neck and longer layers through the top, and B is because the angle of the palm to palm, keeping everything straight, as you can see, if you pull everything out, that'll be the shortest point here, at the occipital bone, and longer either side of it as well. All right, and that's what creates that shape and that frame at the back. Like, like your grandfather said, you've got a good head of hair, it's worth um, it's worth exploring different looks, you know. And again, this could be one of many looks you try while you've got length in your hair. You know, it's it's a good thing that you've you've opted to go for still a longer hairstyle. Like maybe this is probably classed as more medium in some ways, but at least it's still a you know it's, you haven't gone really really short or you've gone for a huge transformation, you know, which is nice. Yeah, I, th I think I just uh, <laughs> I, did, I didn't want to have to grow it for like three more years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So what do you do for a living, Alexander? Uh, well, I'm a student. Okay. Uh, but most of it's from home at the moment, so I keep myself busy by just, you know, doing sort of family errands, that kind of thing. Do you still live at home? Uh, yeah, ever since lockdown. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. How do you find that? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's I suppose you have to say that in case your mum watches the video, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely. I think it's a nice thing, isn't it? As well, you know, if, you, if you've got a good relationship, it's it is nice, isn't it? You know, if you've got a really good relationship with your parents, it's always a, it's always nice. I know that's not for, I know that isn't the case for everybody, but it is nice if you've got one, especially lock, with lockdown as well. I think it was, it, it make it, it sort of, it was like a make or break situation for a lot of people, wasn't it? The lockdowns, and it's, it's quite nice that a lot of people came out unscathed, you know, in terms of family relationships and whatever else. Now let me just turn the camera. So. There's the size, we're gonna take that maybe a touch higher, but as you can see, by working through two finger width sections all the way around, following the same guide, that's the same length either side as well. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to start to thin this out a little bit. So I'm gonna use the razor for this. I'm gonna thin out the hair to give it more of a, more of a softer feel, a softer finish as well. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna use this to create texture, I just wanna use this to create just take away a lot of that thickness because we I want this to be easy to blow dry but I want it to still be quite heavy the heaviness we need in there to keep it nice and smooth so it, it's not going to be like I'm not going to be working like different directions right like that I'm just gonna be working straight down just breaking out the interior quite wide sections just to break that down a little bit but not going too close to the scalp neither just kind of maybe towards the ends of the hair maybe mid length to the ends is what I'm going to start from and just take that thickness out so again the length will stay the same for now but the thickness will be reduced which I think I am at the section working it down so all i'm doing is just removing the thickness and the bulk so as you can see pull this through some hair coming off there but mainly it was in my fingers as well doing this a lot through the back as well be working the razor through it but through the top i'll probably use the scissors to create the kind of thin effect that we need to create just pull that through and just holding the blade like a pen just going to work through like this See the angle, I'm pretty much straight down, just a slight angle of the blade, just to remove that thickness out. Take the section from underneath. I'm gonna work in two stages now. Halfway from the top to, to the bottom, and then from the middle down to the bottom. And just pulling that out as we get down to towards my fingers. There we go.
a lot of that is cut in. So what you should find is that a little bit of the weight's taken out, but we've kept a lot of the weight in as well. Just want to give it a little bit of a thin out, really. So let's cut the perimeter in now. And that's what we're going to work through for the top. So on the sides, start with this side, and to about there. Cut that nice and straight. This section here, take a wide section. Like so. The diagonal section down to the bottom. Bring it across, tilt the head over. Like so. Then use the section from the top as the guide to balancing. And the section behind that you took. Same again, and we're now all the way into the section. That's just a nice little graduation to the sides. Should be about here, so we sort of a little flick. A lot of fine tuning towards the end. But these are all just the lines we want to get in first and create our shape. Place your middle finger against the neck collar or against the client's back and cut straight across. Follow the guide. Excellent, there we go. Guide from the right hand side. We stop just behind the ear, okay? We use our fingers to pinpoint exactly the length we need to go to. So there. Pull that down, have a memory of where that was, and cut, like so. Do a nice straight cut again. Then we take one on our diagonal down to the bottom. And we bring this down, and this is our connection. So this is like our balancing in to the nape. Bring this angle as well, coming down. Let's mirror the section. And we cut to match. We finish just at the top of there. Pull that in. There we go. And you see, pretty much matches up already. So, and then to the side, working it through. Make sure we start to fine tune these sections now. Make sure everything starts to match up. Head nice and straight up. There we go. So, we'll work in sections to the middle now. Okay. So, we look at the middle part, lean the head back. Nice straight line all the way back, like so. Bring that all the way down the back that comes over the round of the head at the back. Two fingers in. Straight across and down. And just come that over, not into the center part, so we to keep the center part in there. Bring this down to match. Take a section. We pull this back and out. We want to match up to the back here. And I want this to layer into the front. We want to keep the length at the back. And that gives a nice graduation. So we're keeping a lot of length in the sides. We're still building up that weight through the sides as well. Two fingers in width, like that, around the line. And down the match. And so we start to balance and connect. Bring it straight down. Now. Bring a section from the back. We've created what we call a T-section. Center part down the middle. Section just above the crown, the round of the head. Now we do, we pull this out. Make some head down slightly for me. Pull this out, and there's our section. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna point cut into this. So want this to fall a bit softer. We will, put, we will be point cut into this as well to soften it a bit more. But I'm gonna cut that straight across. We're just pulling this straight out so there's no more hair. 
straight towards me. I'm just gonna keep going to the front now. So keeping the same width section, so two fingers in width. Now we just do one side. Again, it always seems to be the right hand side because I'm right handed as well, so it's just an easy way to do it. And trying to avoid going round the head and just pulling everything straight out because again, we want to preserve as much length on the sides as we can. And as you can see, a lot less is coming through now the closer we get to the fringe. about the cheekbone it's so about there let's see about there yeah it's on this angle we use that side straight on as our guide right now what we're going to do dry it off and the rest of it is done once it's all dried so all right so going to dry some grooming cream into Alexander's hair, right? So a fair amount. This would just help try to work, obviously working with heat, so the hair from burning down too much as well. Just working it through the hair. Just applying it a bit like a conditioner, I suppose, because there isn't much hold to this product at all. I'm maybe using this more as a kind of way to um, add a bit of like kind of, well, I suppose a slight bit of hole when it's dried in, but mainly just to protect it from the heat and also set the shape in a bit more as well. All right. Right, so what we could do, I think to make your life a lot easier for you, Alexander, is I'm going to dry most of this off just a bit of freehand. And I think what we'll do is we'll just use the brush down the middle to start with, just so you can get used to it. All right, so I'll give you a bit of a kind of, a bit of style and advice in the sense of drying it, but also I want to make it quite easy for you as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry it off loosely with my fingers, just around the back and sides, and then I'm going to use the round brush on the top. All right. So high heat, high speed. And just try this through. Now, throw the volume, take a section just off centre. With your brush, just run your hair back and then just separate it either side, okay? Like that. Get all you need to lift it up at the roots, okay? Like so. Straight up. And right, over. Get your section. And split it where it wants to fall. Like so. Start to dry this in, in, roll it round, and up, okay? Make sure it's dry. Well, can you see the way you've got a bit more lift at the front in the middle now, more than what you had before? It's got a little bit, it's not really high, but it's high enough, I think. We can accentuate that with a bit of powder as well to give it a bit more height. But you're starting to get that sitting in there a bit more now. So what we do, we just fine tune the length, fine tune the, the sort of fall and the drop. I'm gonna do right over for me if you can. Lean right over this way. That's great. What we do? Pick up these bits here. I'm gonna point cut into the ends now. Okay, just to give it a bit of a softer finish. So we put the perimeter line in and then we work out and give it a much softer finish. Same thing again, pull that out and point cut in. So what this is allowing for is to get rid of the thickness that you've still got in there, but also allowing it to 
for and drop nicely. So there's a bits where we've obviously had to connect. We can work on them. We cut them in. We start to blend it in a bit more now as well from the sides to the back. And you can see the bottom now is a lot less straight. Pick that up. I hope I start to graduate this in a bit more. start to break up the perimeter line now as well. Straight in, resting the blade on your third finger, your ring finger. And just a bit of freehand just to break it up. Same on this side now as well, that we've already, already done. Should we just tidy these up for you a little bit? Just okay. make them a bit? Yeah, sure. Just a little curly ones there will go over there. You won't see these anyway because they'll be sitting underneath the hair. The very bottom there as well, like that. Finally, just going to cut into that fringe a bit as well, just to break it up a little bit as well. And I think to finish off, I'll probably put a little bit of um, powder in to get a bit more height and volume in there. And sprinkle that into the hair, okay? Like so. Bring another section here, bring it across, and just put that in there, okay? Now, little tiny bit, just over the top of the hair, and what you do is you rub it in, like that, to the scalp. You start to get a lot more volume sitting in there. It doesn't sit as flat, it's not like really high, but it's high enough, and I think we need that to four, and then the rest of it to four as well but nice and smooth just using a comb to create the smoothness so it's not like a bit more manicured so again go over that center part look a little bit more of a natural finish and something that's going to suit you in terms of that so it hopefully shouldn't go in your eyes too much neither as well you got a bit more volume sitting through there as well well that's essentially it mate how's it all for you yeah great you happy yeah yeah cool man not different. Well, it is, not but it's not radical, mate. No, it's 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 not as radical as it could have been. Um, but I think it was a nice, it was a good haircut to go for. I think you got the hair for it, and I think it was a nice balance to it as well. I think we still, it still looks like a nice longer hairstyle, so it doesn't look like too short. But it's still got the same kind of shape to it, with the fringe a bit short, the sides are a little bit longer, and then the back's a bit longer as well. So essentially, it is the same. I just wanted to give you a bit more length in it, just because I knew where from what we were talking about at the start, I, don't, I wanted to be manageable for you. So. Blasting it through the hairdryer, then just using the brush through the middle to get a bit more volume so it's not sitting as flat to the head, which is looking nice. Um, that's what I want to try and show you where you can still recreate the hairstyle without having to have too many tools. Um, because 
as I was working through it, I was thinking, is this gonna, would you actually be able to spend the time doing this? And I was thinking, if I can try and make it more realistic for you, like as I was working through the styling elements in my head, was if I can make this more realistic for you, I wanna show you a way of styling your hair without having to worry too much about how to use a brush, for example. So I know you have to layer it in from the, from the top here, but if you were just to maybe just do it down the center and put a bit of powder in it, you'll probably get just enough volume is what you'll need. I think as well. But it's all those, you never really know until you start doing it, whether it's gonna work or not. And I think it suits your lows, mate, to be honest. I think, but let me just take the gown off you as well so you see it with your actual clothes on underneath as well. Because it looks different when you've got a gown on. But when you see it with actually what you're wearing, you'll notice it really does suit you. Perfect. But you can start to see it actually blends in with, with yourself, you know, how, how you are. Have you got that? Oh, there it is. So then the back, it's still got length in it but it's not sitting really, really long, but you've got the weight in there is what you need for the hairstyle where it sits a lot heavier mm. and then it's cut through the ends there as well. So it's got a nice shape to it, a nice balance to it. Yeah, yeah very nice. Yeah, thanks man. That's great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.